Remnant, sons and daughters of God. We all know that prayer changes things. It's not, so, it's not a big deal to pray for just a minute or so every now and then. But the, the relationship with the Lord, with the Lord, if you it, like it to grow, it requires us to pray mostly all day long. From Before we start uh, our day, before we get out of bed, we should say, Good morning, Father. How are you today? And you could start talking about different things with Him. That's a relationship with Him. It's a communication. And you could start asking Him for different things and... And then you then you wait on those different things, but it's it's prayer. It's and if you run out of things to pray about and talk to God about, you start speaking in tongues if you have that gift. Because when you speak in tongues, everything happens. Even though you don't know what you're saying, you everything happens because it's it's God that is to actually doing the prayer. And you know, if He prays, then everything is definitely going to happen. But the but the bottom line is our your personal relationship must grow especially in these troublesome times now um it's got to grow it's either going to go forward or towards going to um, go backwards and we want it to go forward so um pray talk to god you know worship him you know worship him with everything that you have you know as much as you possibly can in your car you can pray in your car you know um listen to music gospel music in the car sing to god he created you to worship him and so let's do that and let's keep our uh the, our faith growing also too because faith is a hard thing to to grow it takes a lot of work you just don't get it overnight and um god calls us um here in uh, psalms number 24 he calls us gates um Indoors, you see, he says, lift up your, um, you lift up ye everlasting doors. So, and also get, um, gates, we're gates also too. And what, what does that mean? Lift up your heads, O ye gates. What does that really mean? That means that you should be able to open up your door and open up your gate and let those prayers flow to God, because that is ex exactly who we are. Our prayers flow through our through us to God, and He listens to every last one of them. Don't think that He doesn't, and don't think that He doesn't collect them. He collects those prayers in your own container with your name on it, and they minister to to God to the Lord. All of the time, they never stop talking. And so there's, there's trillions of containers that are constantly ministering to God. And he, he, he has the ability to hear every last one of those containers. I don't know how he does it. It would drive me crazy to have all those um, voices and all those prayers be saying at the same time. But he, he has the ability to pay attention to each and every one of them. And he's paying attention to yours. So keep filling up the con your container. It could be a cup. It could be a bowl. Fill it up until it overflows, and then you'll then that's when things are happening. So, some prayers they take um, it takes more to more of them to fill up the container. So you can pray for the same thing and supplement your prayers. You know, you can, there's nothing wrong with asking for the same thing uh, many different times, because sometimes that's what it takes, and sometimes it only takes one time. So overflow your container with as many prayers as you possibly can. And then wait and watch for things to happen. And they'll happen. Psalms 24, ready? <clears throat> Do this with your family every single day, your, your husband, your wife. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And um, do me a favor in, in the comments section. Um, put, put down where your, your city is, your, your state is, or your country. Live to know where you're uh, coming from, um, uh, who's uh, uh, getting this broadcast. And um, you can sh share the video and also... Um, um, Please, by all means, give a thumbs up. Those are important. Very, very important to spread the video. The earth is the, the Lord's, Lord's and, and the fullness thereof, the world and they, they that dwell therein. For he that founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods, who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord, or who shall stand at his holy place? He that hath clean hands and pure heart, and hath not lifted up his soul to vanity, 
nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and the righteousness from God. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seeketh his face. O Jacob, Selah, lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, even lift them up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Selah. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we honor you and we praise you and we thank you for dying on the cross for us and we thank you for forgiving us of everything that we've done wrong as we live in repentance. Father, you've created everything on this earth You've created, and you've created everything in the universe. You are God. You are truly amazing, Father. You've created everything. You know Every hair that is on each one of our heads and, uh, and and on our bodies, you are just amazing. And we, we thank you for the opportunity to be here on earth, to become sons and daughters of God instead of, uh, you know, what we were before. Now we're, we are actually your flesh and blood, and we appreciate that, Lord. And, um, and we know that you're God. No one can... Can do anything without you. No one, we, neither, none of us can even get out of bed in the morning without you giving us the strength to do it, Lord. And Father, we all want to um, come before you as, with clean hands and a pure heart. So give us the teach us your way how that we can we can wash our hands all the time and and purify our hearts all of the time, in Jesus' name. We lift up our souls to you, Father, in Jesus' name. And we, Father, we just repent once again for the remission of our sins, and we ask that you forgive us of everything that we've ever done wrong. We just want to be just like you, and that's it. But you know how tough it is and how hard it is here. But thank God for your grace and all of your forgiveness that you have, um, that you have, uh, given us. Father, we lift up our heads because we are your gates for this earth, Lord. We are gates and we are doors, Lord Jesus. And Lord, you are the King of Kings and you are the King of glory. And we know this and we reverence that. And Father, you are strong and you are mighty. And we ask that you Infuse your strength and infuse your might inside of us and let it grow so that we can um, be just like you. We lift up our heads to you, Father. We lift them up. We lift up our everlasting doors, King of Kings, King of Glory. Come on into us, Father, and use us. Lead us and guide us forever and ever and ever and evermore. God bless our families, and God bless our countries, and God bless our nations, our governments, and um, we love you, Lord Jesus. We honor you, praise you, and glorify you forever. In Jesus' name, amen.